Models of the brain show a vast network of connections. The more we anchor ideas with connections in different areas of the brain, the easier it is to remember things. Try this. Next time you meet a new person, create an association uh, to yourself, like uh, Big Nose Brian. If its relative rhymes or is funny, you'll be more likely to remember the name Brian. Repetition helps as well. Associations are memory triggers, words or phrases that are related to the curriculum content or concept. What are the key vocabulary words that define the idea when students synthesize and summarize key ideas to conclude their lessons, they develop higher order thinking skills, reinforcing through repetition what was taught, and this is good. An association is a link, something that gives definition and further meaning to the curriculum concept. It takes time and practice to think like a teacher, to be able to extract and link ideas in order to be able to pass the information on. Practicing creating cap notes is a great routine to reinforce and enhance learning. Just knowing how it's done and why it works is important. Cap notes work because creating associations help left brain dominant auditory learners, while creating pictographs helps right brain dominant or kinesthetic, hands-on learners. If what's to be taught isn't clear in the minds of the teacher, it will never be clear in the minds of students. This is another reason why teachers should use cap notes when planning lessons. This way, teachers, students, and parents, and players are all on the same page, literally and metaphorically. Ask for associations is the headline where double entendres and acronyms are born. Traditional curriculum content documents are organized with knowledge first, skills second, and attitudes third. Simon Sinek, in his popular TED Talk, pushes the idea to begin presentations with why. Why do kids have to know this stuff? Next up, processes and pictographs.